Welcome back, this is uh, part 7 from Angular Dart tutorial. Please make sure to check the previous videos and let's get started. So inside the courses we have also delete function here. So as we see we have a pattern here. So delete inside the courses, also delete inside the um, course detail. And we need to uh, tell the course surface to use the same uh, functionality. So inside the courses component, we have remove where, and then we bring the courses UID by UID. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to remove this, and then we say this course surface, and then bring us to uh, remove, or maybe delete course, and then we pause the course, UID. Since our uh, delete course, it, uh, it will uh, receive a course, not a, uh, the string UID. So we need to uh, adjust this one uh, even. So we'll say string UID and that will bring us to remove where here. And that will take the course even and then say course new id is equal to uid and that's where uh, delete it but inside the course detail now we have a problem because delete course is taking the selected course but actually we just in easily can say take the uid and now this will work and let's say what's problem here so i think a problem with course UID so inside the course let's go to course component indeed that we have problem here so we need just to pause the UID not the course UID and let's reload now we have inside the our course uh, detail uh, 111 we do delete and then it will be deleted and go back to the courses so actually if this is the kind of pattern that we don't repeat ourselves and then we use the same functionality to delete the course now what we are going to do is implement the profile so now if we cl click on the profile we see that it goes to the uh, so unknown uh, route and then it prints just the home routes and that's what not the same what we are looking for so if we go to uh, we're going to implement first the component so again if you want to uh, make this separate or make it in uh, outside the component it's uh, feel feel free to do it because this should be also an uh, uh, as a model so we go to inside a new folder and we say this will gonna be profile and then again the profile will be a uh, profile so again the profile uh, component will be uh, like this I, again I don't like to use the component it, so just say profile and then profile and template HTML and we remove this one core directives and the router directives will be implemented also we can implement the course uh, class provider this will be later but now we need the uh, the class name so profile let's say profile component again we don't have an ng in it here so we just need to remove these ones uh, now we need to implement the profile template so we copy this and then make a new file save and then we say profile template with html and that will bring us our profile page and we say profile works again if we want to implement this inside our uh, app we need to put uh, in inside the routes so what we're going to do is we're going to copy like the home and instead of say uh, home with a, uh, just a slash we just say this will be profile and that will make a profile here and that's it in the, in the routes path in the routes we need to also to make a new route and we could just copy this out and we say this can be a profile path 
or maybe just a profile actually it will be a profile route it's better and then we say route path and instead of the course detail we say profile and again we need to implement the template for this file so we're going to make uh, yeah th this is just for formatting it's uh, printed in the another line strange so uh, we say and go back components and we say profile profile component and then dot template and that will be as profile template so we have our profile template and when we need to do is just say profile template and then profile component and g factory and here we need to just print this out uh, put this out inside uh, the routes definition for all and now we have our route so if you go to back to home reload and you click on profile so what we're going to do is take the route link here and copy it and instead of this we just say paste here and we will just say route path and that will be profile and then we have our route so click here then a profile works and for the href implementation so uh, you can actually uh, implement this uh, as you like but still this one is a high priority for the route now our profile uh, works what we're going to do is just put the, some HTML and implement the, uh, the profile template. So what I did in this profile template that bring up just uh, an, uh, an template for, uh, for HTML tags and then print out this profile image with this uh, uh, source. So what we're going to do is also put some uh, information about the, uh, about the profile. So what we're going to do is bring our list to group and that's inside the list to group we have an active active here so i remove this one and also disabled and remove this one no need it even though this one also and now we have kind of like list to group also you see that the column here a medium and then we see uh, take the column here and say also a medium And that's what we'll do. It's to bring our like and list group in uh, uh, in the bottom of the uh, profile image. And here, what we're going to do is just to print out our uh, profile uh, elements. So what I'm going to do is take the H3, and let's say that we have uh, Mary Jane. So. <clears throat> so Mary Jane is the is the profile name and we what we're going to do is also put some uh, styling around this one because we're going to edit uh, the profile uh, the profile name so uh, inside this one I will make an first an ng uh, uh, ngf uh, it's not and g if yes so and they say if this edit mode so if there is no edit mode then it will be uh, imprinted mary jane otherwise it will take input and that's let's say form control uh, input form control no? b input yes so and then name it will be uh, just a profile name which is name and here we're going to do is also uh, we put an if condition so we say ng if if this edit mode so still for edit mode is not implemented yet edit mode should be implemented inside the profile class and now what we're going to do is put some icon so then when you click it then you can uh, convert this one to an input and when you're done you just click it and it will be done 
<coughs> so what I'm going to do is put this one as display flex also I'm going to use justify content not center between also align items align items will be in the center I'm also take the width of 100 in case of this will uh, the width will not pass by so the width is always should be 100% uh, uh, now what I'm going to do is inside the form control what I put also width of 75 and also to control the input value we will use ng model so ng model is directive uh, provided by angular to take the uh, to take the and uh, to 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 make the two to data binding uh, and then print it out to uh, the value to the variable so actually if you want to check for uh, Angular, uh, it's, it's better to check for the directives of an uh, ng model because uh, it's really helpful and also it is the best. Uh, I mean, it's not the best. It's a is a feature inside Angular that make it really accessible. So let's say that we have here a profile name, or maybe actually I will just make it a name for now just to let, uh, to show you and inside this one i will make two uh, classes so uh, two uh, diff elements and take the ngf here inside and put this one here so the idea is that because i need an icon here so that's why i put two separate diff components and also we have a display flex and that's why So um, I'm okay with this now. Now with the H3 that we, if we want to implement an icon, so we just say I am, and here we just say edit. Uh, let me see if this is gonna uh, work. Before that, we need to implement some, uh, uh, let's say some variables. Otherwise, this will throw an error. Uh, so we have to, uh, one uh, boolean. Uh, boolean instance and we say this is edit mode and that's by default it will be false also we have a name and that will be string and let's say by default is empty or pay. maybe I will put Mary Jane here so uh, the Mary Jane it will be controlled by the name via ng model and uh, and instead of printing the Mary Jane, it will be printed whatever uh, the name property will be. So let's try this out. We have a problem here. Yeah, that, uh, that's true because if we want to implement the ng model, so we have the core directives, router directives, but we don't have the form directives. And that's with separate uh, directives. It comes from for, uh, forms. Uh, so if you need to check, so go to pop uh, spec YAML. And then we check that we have Angular components routes, but we don't have Angular forms. So I'm going to bring the Angular forms from here. So let me uh, bring this out. And for angular forms we need the two uh, this version so this will try to uh, install the angular forms for us and that's what we'll uh, do it will bring our uh, angular directives angular forms directives and we need to just to say forms directives now it will be uh, it will be okay so angular forms will be recognizable and then i think uh, yeah, we have succeeded with the build. So let's try this out again. And we go to the Mary Jane with edit. So I don't like this icon actually, but if we click here, it doesn't do anything because we didn't implement yet the click event. And that's what we say here, click. 
and that's what we'll do is we'll take the edit mode to true again we have an input here so we need to implement also the done and we say this it will be check mark again we have a new click here and that will bring up edit mode is false so we click in edit here you see that this turns to the in input field and we see the check mark and we you can change the name here and we see someone else I click done and then someone else is printed here now we still have some uh, styling issues here let's try to bring the styling so first what we need to do is inside this one I will say class name here uh, text uh, center also I will use the width 100% so I'm just going to make sure that will be a uh, printed in a really uh, way good way also we have display flex just if I contain a space between and that's true but we need also to put some uh, classes here so we just say class display flex and that will uh, print this one next to each other and then we take the same and we print it here so we have a space here in between and then Mary Jane will be like this and we need to do the same actually inside the, uh, another div so just copy it paste and then click here now we have the Mary Jane and then we done like this so that's it uh, for uh, for the name so what I'm going to do is actually is making another class and uh, first we're going to put all the uh, elements here just to print out all the elements here I have pasted uh, more elements inside the component that it will show like this so we have an email achievement courses and uh, how many courses uh, that's uh, already uh, learning and the patch uh, of she's like I don't know she's a uh, bronze or something like this or golden batch uh, of learning and then we have last update uh, element so we need to implement the profile now so what we're going to do is actually instead of uh, we'll make a new uh, uh, so actually I'm going to make a new uh, surface I will call this a profile surface so profile surface is actually is the same as the courses surface and the difference is that we need to everything to be uh, uh, separate and also uh, so this one is not and also the uh, thinking about the separation of concerns like uh, first we're going to implement angular and that will be uh, angular dart so our uh, package will be okay then class and here we say profile and that's what we'll do is actually is will uh, so first I, I will make here an, an model so we'll call this one just For the updated that it will be uh, implementing the added date time to ISO string here. So now we have our profile and then inside the profile surface we just need to make a new function and we say get maybe and get uh, profile 
and that should return profile and we we'll just say a profile here is equal to uh, a new profile and we when we uh, go doing the UID so the UID it will be 111 and the name it will be uh, Mary Jane and the email it will be uh, let's say Mary uh, dot Jane at I don't know gmail.com maybe and then we have the list of courses so this will be an array this will be an array and then we have the patch the budget will be uh, let's say that wait is it in the first one is the badge actually the first one is the badge and then the course is unfinished and then the updated ad so i'm going to so updated ad will be the second one actually because we don't need it so leave it like this so courses unfinished so here we say golden and here we have a course uh, a list of courses and then we also have a list a again and then we say list of courses so that's one of the courses let's uh, bring just one, at least one course so let's say course and then we need to check the course constructor we see what uh, the required uh, let's say the required uh, parameters so print this out so we have UID let's say this UID is 33 title is let's say uh, angular dart and then the author is I don't know code review maybe And then we have the price and the price should be always free because we already did a price as free now uh, this through uh, okay the price should be uh, always double sorry for that so like this so that's one of the courses that it ha uh, she has inside the inside the course uh, inside the courses so let's out like this and print this out so and we see the profile must be declared using the keyword const or final or var so actually uh, no because I don't want to uh, let's make it final for now and now when we do a profile get profile that will actually just return this profile now if we go to a uh, profile component we need to make an injection to our course surface uh, oh sorry our uh, profile surface we say profile surface and then make another uh, final here and we say profile surface it will be profile surface also bring our comp uh, component constructor and we say this profile surface now we have an edit mode this edit mode should be stay the same but for the name we will uh, uh, retrieve this one and instead of uh, the string name we will make another uh, uh, let's say we'll make another uh, an instance and we say this type of a profile again this profile it will be implemented here and we say just this will be profile again the profile here is needs to be um, uh, printed or rendered inside the html so what we're going to do is taking the so let's start uh, from the beginning so ah yeah we need to also implement the uh, image inside the profile so i will do this later but here instead of the name we say just a profile not name even though that the, the input also ng model we need to change this to profile dot name and if we go to email i say profile
So it's a profile dot email. The achievement courses. So the achievement courses is just like taking the uh, the length of the uh, courses. So what we're going to do is take a profile and say finished. Courses dot length. And that will be uh, that will say that how many uh, finished courses. Just to double check that the, uh, for the for the property, so this will be uh, finished courses. That's okay. Now we have also how many courses that she enrolled into, and that will bring us the normal courses. So that will be a profile uh, dot courses also dot length and then we have our patch we just have a profile dot patch and we have also the last update and that will bring us to our uh, last uh, property and we say profile dot update at. again inside profile component we do uh, have the profile but that will be initialized as a null so we need to implement uh, on it here and when we say implementing the ng on it and that will take a profile is equal to the profile surface and that will be get profile again now this implemented very well so mary jane mary jane gmail and we have extra brackets here and then we have golden last update add we need to think about this one so uh, first let's go to finished courses we have three here also for the batch we need we can implement the uh, and the pipes and that will say uppercase here again if you have problems here with that we need to implement it also here and we just say pipes and that will be an array and we say common pipes see and this one is going to be golden again it is uh, something also updated at so let's make sure that updated out is correct spelled so that's totally correct but it's not a printing this one so let's try to use one to, to string here and let's see what's going to be printing so this one is, is no and that's because inside the profile surface when we did uh, initialization here so we did the courses we did uh, another courses but we didn't provide another uh, property so we just say that day to time dot now do iso string and then this will print our uh, profile update the latest update time again if you want to uh, format this update we can use uh, an, an package to format this and this will i will do it in the in the end that's it for this part thank you for watching and see you in the next video